Well, it's about time for another Windows 10 update. <sighs> Again, I'm Woody Huffines, and I'm the nurse to go in McKinney and Frisco, Texas, and this is Tech for the Untechnical. Now, the week after Memorial Day, Windows, Microsoft, is going to put out another update to Windows 10. This is one of their big updates. This is a feature update. Should you take it or not? Well, the first thing I'd tell you is it may take a while for it to roll out. Windows, um, Windows 10 specifically, has been having a bunch of problems in the last year, year and a half with some of their updates. People have lost data, drivers quit working, their, the, the um, uh, network interface card went away, some people lost sound. Things happen <laughs> because there are so many computers on the Windows side that sometimes the drivers don't quite work and people lose functionality in their machine. In addition to that, Windows comes out and they help you. Like the last time they had a big feature update, they helped me so that my desktop picture that I like, that's my picture, that it's important to me, just rotates off and I gotta go in and reconfigure it all the time. I still haven't figured out how to make that stop and it ticks me off. So the question is, should you update Windows this week when it goes to 2020 or 20-4? Well, I'd tell you this, if your computer's working fine and you like what it's doing and you don't have any major problems, then I would probably push the update off until a couple of weeks has gone by to see if there's any major issues or major problems. Now, this particular update to Windows 10, this feature update has been, uh, according to Microsoft, much more deeply tested than the previous updates. They've done a lot more beta testing and they're a lot more confident that it's gonna go well color me skeptical. If you decide that you want to go ahead and allow the update to run when it pushes out for this update, then I would do two things. First of all, always back up your data before you do an update because you just can't tell what's going to happen. And second, make sure that all of your drivers are updated because it, it won't push the update if the drivers aren't updated for your machines. Now the drivers are little pieces of software that allow the software to talk to hardware. And if there's a disconnect in the drivers, sometimes that causes Windows update to hang. And we see a lot of folks that come in that have a driver issue and we've got to work through that to get their computer to finish the update. And if it doesn't finish the update, then the update database can get hung and it'll take quite a while for the uh, uh, updates to go through and go ahead and get to where you got a functioning machine. So if you're happy with the way your computer's run and then you don't need any of the fancy new features that Windows is coming out with, I'd wait a couple of weeks before you let that update go. Now let me make an important point here. I'm generally a pretty big fan of the Patch Tuesday updates. The, the Once a month, on the first Tuesday of the month, they'll come out and they'll push uh, patches out for the machine and those are, those are usually security patches or, or patches where you've got a software problem that could get you infected on the internet so while I, I'm generally in the of the opinion that if it's a patch Tuesday and they send patches out to get the uh, windows updated for security problems or other things like that that that's that's a pretty good idea to take those but these feature updates where they come out and give you a whole bunch of stuff that you didn't know you needed until they push it to your computer, it'd probably be a good idea to wait. So wait if, you, if you're happy. Make sure your drivers are updated before uh, Thursday. It's, May, it's rolling out on the 28th of May. And if you have a problem, if you have any questions, give us a call at nerds to go and we can help you through any excitement that the Windows update causes you. I'm Woody Huffines on the Nurse to Go in McKinney and Frisco. This is Tech for the Untechnical. Hit the subscribe button below, mash the like, give me a comment. We'll hope to see you soon.